hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist and youtuber based in asaba delta state nigeria and in today's video we are going to be recreating this makeup look using only nigerian owned makeup brands like everything i used every product i used in this video is a nigerian owned makeup brand so if this is the content you would like to see then please keep on watching and while you're at it don't forget to like this video drop a comment down in the comment section if you have nothing to say just say hello and most importantly subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button down below and let's get into the video <music> To begin with guys, I'm going to be priming my face using my TM Essentials Primer. I'm just going to shake this up. This is a mattifying face primer and like most of you know, I like to go over my face with at least two primers, a top primer, a base primer and a top primer. So I'm just going to be priming my face with this, probably around my T-zone area. Nigerian brands have really come a long way. Like there are so many nice products from Nigerian brands and I really enjoyed discovering this product. Next we are going to be using this my Mismetics Aqua Grip Water Jelly Primer. Looks just like this. Um, it's just twisted this way and the pump comes out I got this product at the Asaba Makeup Fair and I've really been enjoying it I'm beginning to feel tacky slightly tacky I'm just going to give it some time to set on my skin properly and then we'll go on and apply our foundation for foundation today I'll be using the Nubran Beauty in my skin liquid foundation and I'm in the shade W11 Michelle Obama I will just shake up this foundation a bit and just take like two squares one two that should be enough for my full face is actually a good color match to my skin this foundation gives a natural finish I have very oily skin so people will be wondering why I'm going for a foundation that is not a mattifying foundation it's long wearing it's not mattifying yes but it's long wearing Taking my Nuban Beauty in my skin concealer. I have this in the shade 046. I'm going to be using this concealer to highlight my face. This is 2022 and that overly bright highlight is no longer in vogue. And even the over concealing. I'm no longer in vogue. I'm taking my Nuban Beauty sponge now and blending out the concealer. I'm just going to take it over top of my eye. It's going to serve as a kind of primer for the eyeshadow. I'm 
if you can see this is giving a subtle highlight it's not very bright let me see that is how highlight should be done those very bright under eye highlight is outdated now just going to blend the nose highlight blend it out and then before I set the highlighted um, part of my face I'm going to take my foundation brush without adding any additional product and just go over the sides of my face and then I'm going to set in my face with the Beauty by AD Loose Setting Powder in the shade Tawny. Looks just like this. I'm going to be using, I'm just trying to turn it so it pours out into the sifter. So, what I like to do is to quickly go underneath my eye with the beauty sponge again to blend out every crease because. If you don't blend out this crease, whatever you set, you're going to set the crease in place. And then we're setting. We're going to set before we bake. So that the product stays put. So we set now. I love this beauty by AD powder so much. I'm just going to bake, especially around my cheek area. I'm not going to bake, bake underneath my eye because it will dry out my under eye. So I'm just going to bake this area. I smile lines here, my forehead and the bridge of my nose now i'm going to take whatever is left on the sponge and just pat over my eyebrow because we are going to go into the eyebrow now for eyebrow the only nigerian brand i have really been loving i mean i have used their products for a very long time and i can vouch for is the hair guy and esther brow pencil and i have two of them right here i have one in the shade nubia this is nubia and this is in the shade ebony i have finished <laughs> the ebony this pencil is so nice like the stain power is out of this world it can stay through anything just brushing up my brow hair. for some reason this year i have slightly left my if someone had told me i would ever leave my brow gel i would not believe but for some reason this year i have not reached for my hair guy and esther brow gel as much as i have reached for this pencil so we're just going to draw on our brows Like they say, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So these two brows are not cooperating with me today, but we move. 
So for today's look, we are going to be using our Zikel Times Lydia Stanley Eyeshadow Palette. And I don't want to blind you guys, so let me just cover. The shades look just like this. I'm just going to be picking up the shades and calling the colors I'm using to you. So in case you have the palette and you want to use it to recreate this look I am doing today. Today I'll be going for an all matte look. I have just been loving the matte look of recent. Taking the first shade in that palette called Milky Way, I'm going to be using that to set underneath my eyebrow. I actually prefer to set underneath my eyebrow with a very light powder than to go in with a very very light concealer. For some reason, I love the look it gives and it's easier to blend, it's neater, it just looks more professional. Okay. Next, I'm going in with the shade Amber. It's an orange shade, that is the fourth shade in that palette from the right on the first row taking the shade amber and i'm just going to apply that in my transition area very lightly it's just for a light flush of color lydia stanley did a good one with this palette i don't know if it's still in stock i really regretted not getting some more especially for sale or resale I don't know if it's still in stock. Okay. Yes, it's, it's showing up, but it's not showing up so well. Um, I'm going to go in. It's not giving me as much of a definition as I want for this eye look. So I'm going to go in with the shade called Umbar. It's the first shade on the right, on the first row in that palette. Umbar is a deeper brown. Or a deeper orange and yes it's giving me what I, yes can you see that pigmentation it's giving me exactly what i need just blend back and forth back and forth in a windshield wiper motion Having done that, next I'm going to be going into the shade called Latte. It's like a peach color and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. It's a matte eyeshadow. I told you we are doing a matte look today. I'm just trying to use the shadow to do a semi cut crease and i'm just um, building on what i have already laid down i've discovered that for uh, matte shadows it's easier to build up the pigmentation when you pack it on in a tapping motion rather than when you swipe Taking a clean blending brush, this is the Vicabel NK27 brush. I'm going to be going back into that umber shade and using um, the shadow to kind of knitting up the crease to make it look well blended. I don't want it to look rough. Okay. 
eyeshadow look is coming in so well now i'm going to go into the shade called ama it's on the second row it's like a deep deep purple shade and i'm just going to be stamping that into the outer corner of my eye can you see the pigmentation guys like eyeshadow palette is the truth just you need to marry the two shades together and then i'm going to slightly blend it into my crease and that is all i am doing for this eye Taking my Y Glam Beauty Eye Essential Y106 brush, I'm going to go back into that Ama shade and I'm going to just smoke out my lower lash line. I love the look of smudge eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Okay. Before we apply our liquid liner, I just noticed that while I was blending, I overextended the shadow. Like I came a bit further down than I should have. So I'm just going to show you how to fix that error in case you ever make such a mistake. Now what you do, you take your loose powder. As for me now, I'm taking the Beauty by AD setting powder in the shade Tony. Same powder I used to highlight. And I'm just going to use it to, can you see, just stamp, create, just follow the path I ought to have followed. Just use it to carve out where the eye shadow should have ended. Can you see, just that line right there. And then add a bit more to bring it down. Next, we are going to line our eyes and taking my Iwaronke Eyeliner Blackout Pen Liner, I'm going to be using this to create a slight wing. Just trying to shake it up. We're going to be applying our Zyron Lightning Mascara. I really love this mascara a lot. We're going to be using the Mirac cosmetic pencil and just applying that into the waterline having done that we are going to be entering back into the face now if you can see my face clearly like around this area you see that the powder you see like there are some little holes like around here the powder has absorbed and melted into my skin in that area and that is the essence of baking it helps to set the makeup in place some people don't like baking if you have dry skin don't bake but for someone like me that has oily skin Baking around this area really helps a lot with the longevity of my makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to dust off this. You see what I'm doing? I'm just flicking outwards, flicking outwards 
to remove any debris left over from the eyeshadow application and then I'm going to start patting in patting in patting in Can you see that? Doing the same thing here. I'm just patting in because we didn't apply any other thing there. Next, we're going to be applying our Hair Guy and Esther Photo Perfect Press Powder. And I'm in the shade HC35. It looks just like this. You see, this is one other product I got from the Asaba Makeup Fair that I had been dying to try out, and I love, really love it. I got this and um, one other Nuban Beauty powder. That powder hmm, it gives a glowy matte finish. I prefer this one. I always like to blend underneath my neck because it's so easy to forget this area. Then the ear as well. Okay. And the forehead. Oh my gosh, can you see how this is just coming in together so beautifully? Next, we are going to be contouring our nose. Um, Nigerian makeup, Nigerian own makeup brand. Um, the Zaron face definer I have is too, is too dark for me, it's too harsh. So I don't want to use that one. I am just going to be going in with my Juvia's placed, Juvia's, Juvia's placed care. Okay. Juvia's placed bronzed palette in the shade deep dark i'm going to be using this shade right here to contour my nose and this one to contour my face i love the contour i love the subtle contour this contour palette gives not harsh at all so guys we didn't cream contour because I didn't want to use only Julia's place products for contour and I've never really found a Nigerian own makeup brand that does that has products that I can enjoy or I feel I can use for cream contouring. Can you see how this just chiseled out my face? I'm going to go back into our powder brush without adding any additional product and just use it to blend everything. Then something I like to do a lot, I like to go over my face powder with a beauty sponge and just use that to kind of reverse contour can you see that can you see that and immediately i blend it out i don't i do not allow it to bake I blend it out immediately so it just gives that light subtle contour okay now the next thing we are gonna do is to apply our highlighter and for highlighter today we'll be using the Zaron bronzer palette in gold crush this is the highlighter palette and it has this three gorgeous shades 
I'm going to be using this one right here. It's like a like a very light pink highlighter and I'm just going to be ooh can you see don't worry guys I'm going to turn it down a bit you can use this makeup look to occasions to weddings you can even wear it on an everyday basis what I like to do after applying everything, I'm not going to go back into my palette. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to brush it underneath the eyebrow. Just to give that subtle highlight. And then, I go back in with my blending brush and just hit it again. I'm not adding any product, so just the brushes I've used down before. And blending, blending, blending. Taking my powder brush without adding any additional product, I'm just going to stamp, 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 stamp. It's a blending process. Don't worry, guys. Once we set our face with our setting spray, the highlighter is going to melt into the skin. Now, for blush today, the blush I've been loving of recent. Where is that blush? My gosh. found it this tara blusher in zinari i have fallen back in love with this blush can you see guys i hit pan it's like um, a reddish blush i'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheek and blend upwards I don't bring my blush down anymore because it just makes my face droop. And having done that, we are going to go back into our powder brush without adding any additional product and blend out. Next, we are going to be lining our lips with the Zaron Lip liner in the shade cappuccino having done that i want to use a liquid matte lipstick and i think i want to use this nuban beauty lipstick liquid lipstick in the shade orchid i want something pinky mm -hmm. i want to add a gloss to this look ha 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 yeah i found it my zaron lip gloss this is my zaron luxurious lip gloss in 24 karat and i'm just going to apply this hmm. i forget we're going to go back into our double instant brow tema I like to use this brow, it's a colorless gel. I like to use this brow tamer with the end of our um, Hega and Esther brow pencil to brush up my brows. Just run it through the brows. It gives that natural brow look. And it sets the brows in place. set our face we're going to be using this Miss Metics silhouette 
the matte finish I'm just checking it up and I'm going to spritz it for lashes today we are going to be using our Bomb Beauty's Mink Light Lashes and the Younger Beauty and Lash Glue There you have it guys this is the finished look i really love this younger beauty and lash glue like among all the nigerian own makeup brands um lash glue i've ever tried i think <laughs> other than my favorite which is the excuse me the huda beauty lash adhesive i think this is my second best it dries clear it's not a black lash glue but it dries clear and it had adheres very very well so this is the finished look guys thank you so much for watching thank you for coming over and over again thank you for subscribing thank you for riding with me and let me admire myself once more mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Don't mind me guys i'll see you in my very 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 next video bye guys